does that even mean, Bowers Game Corner? Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again today for another game review charge by BoardGameExchange.com, the internet's only board game rental website. And today I am mildly excited to be reviewing Fishing Time from Distinctive Games Inc. This is for two to eight players, ages eight and up, and it will suck away about 60 minutes of your life you're never going to get back, more or less depending on how many players you have, obviously. And in fishing time, you will be going around a giant lake trying to catch more fish than your opponents before the time runs out. Is it a good game? Is it a bad game? I don't know. Let's open it up and find out. All right, so inside of Fishing Time, let's take a look at all you're going to get. You got a nice, really nice looking board right here. You're going to get your one page front and back rule booklet that is very simple. You'll probably use this once or twice and then never need it again. Very simple, nice little rules. Uh, they'll tell you everything you need to know. Uh, you're going to get your two yellow cards. This is for a life vest and a fishing license. These are what you're going to need to go fishing on the lake. If you lose one due to a card for some reason, then bad things can and will happen to you. But everybody's going to have a fishing vest and a fishing license, or a, uh, a water vest. You're going to get eight very nice looking boat pawns coming in eight unique colors. These pawns actually kind of surprise me because they're very nicely done, vivid colors. You're going to have one standard D6 dice, it's a little bit small, but your standard D6 dice. You are going to have a bunch of green cards, which will be separated and represent different fish. Largemouth bass, walleye, uh, they'll have crappy, a bunch of different fish, and they'll have various different weights on them. This is four pounds, this is a four pound walleye, and it has a brief little description of what a walleye does, where it lives, blah, 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 blah. And some walleyes will be bigger than other walleyes because obviously not every fish is created equal. Last, you're going to get your cards. This is the heart of the game. This is the main part of the game. When you get to land on one of these fish, which you will land on these fish around the board all the time, you get to draw one of these cards. But let's just get into the gameplay so you can see exactly how it's played. We're going to play just a little two-player game right here so you can see exactly how it's played. Uh, you can start anywhere you want around the board as long as you're on one of these docks. So we'll just start this guy, oh, we'll start him over at Muskrat Lodge, and we'll start him at, uh, oh, Cranky Hank's Boat Repair. So, first player goes first, I don't know how you want to decide, fist fight, who likes to fish more, what have you. But you're going to roll, see who goes first, and you're going to move that many spaces. So yellow goes two spaces. The rules with the movement are you can go left or right, you can't do both during a turn, or you can go up and down, you can't do both during a turn. So you couldn't just go uh, one, two, you couldn't just go back. So you have to go left or right or up and down. But we're going to move, roll, and this guy's going to go three spaces. We'll just pretend that he ends up right here. So he is on a fish right there. He gets to draw one of these fish and time cards, and they will say various different things. This one says, congratulations. You caught a walleye, so he will go over to the green pile and draw one of the walleye. He got the four pound, or he got the three pound walleye. He will keep this secret because at the end of the game, whoever has the most pounds of fish will win the game. Now you're saying, when does the game end? The game ends after a predetermined amount of time. You can either take 30 minutes or 60 minutes. Uh, there's no other real way to win the game. You can't have 10 fish, the most fish. It's just time limit, so make sure you have your phone alarm set when you're playing this or you're paying attention to a clock. But anyway, he's going to set this down to his side. He now has that fish. Next, orange guy, roll the dice, we'll go three, we'll just pretend he lands on another fish in time one, because these these cards are what you're going to be doing the entire game. This is, this is the game right here. You're rolling and picking up cards when you land on fish, and you will land on fish all the time because there are so many fish and there's so many different ways to go. But this one says, Oh no, your boat has run out of gas. Go to Cranky Hank's Boat Repair. So your turn is essentially over. You just go back to Cranky Hank's. Now we're going to fast forward a little bit. Uh, we're just going to pretend like the game has been going on for 55 minutes. You're, you're getting closer at the five minute warning. You know, this guy's got two fish. This guy over here though, he's got a demanding lead. He's got all these fish. He's like, yeah, I'm going to smash. you got ten fish. So, orange guy's turn, he rolls the dice, gets a four, goes blah, 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 lands on another fish, rolls on it and says, your line snap, lose one turn while you make repairs. This is a game where you, where you will be losing turns, as great as that idea is, because we all love when we lose turns, especially in an eight-player game. So not only are you losing your turn, but then you have to wait for seven people to go, and then seven people to go again. 
Not to mention that some of these cards have you rolling again. So you might be waiting for a while if you do lose a turn. But we're at the 59 minute mark. Game's about to be over. Yellow guy's like, yeah, I'm smashing. I got all these fish. He rolls, goes to the last spot right here. Boom, he's on a fish. What's going to happen? It's all gravy, right? Oh, timer goes off. Game's over. What's this say? Uh, the warden has stopped you. Because the warden will stop you to check if you have a life vest or your fishing license. The warden has stopped you and... Uh, what? what? A and caught you using two fishing poles. Go to the DNR headquarters all the way up there. Lose two turns and return all your fish to the pile? That's how this game is played? All right, fishing time from Distinctive Games, Inc. What are my final thoughts? Let's go over the pros. Let's go over the cons. First, on the pro side, we'll go over the pro side first. The pawns are pretty nicely done. They're cool little boats. You're going to get eight of them because this is a two to eight player game, which I did like. The fact that it was eight players. The stage is uh, six and up, I believe it was. So that is very young. You could probably teach this to a four or five year old. The pawns are nice. The, uh, the board is very nicely done. It's a very nice big board. You're going to set it down. You're going to get excited about playing this game. And then going to the cons, you're going to get excited and it's going to crush every hope and dream you have ever had because Fish in Time from Distinctive Inc's game is not a good game. It is your run-of-the-mill roll and move game. But they were not only content with making a roll and move game, they also decided to put a time limit. There's no way to win or lose this game aside from the time limit. You just add up how many points you have at the end. So they decided, hey, this mechanic really stinks. This mechanic really stinks. Let's mix them together and make two terrible mechanics together. Mix them! Uh, also, the cards are flimsy. The cards will really start to annoy you. They're just bad cards. The majority of them are bad things happening to you, and they don't really make sense. It'll be like, you wrecked your boat... Uh, go to the nearest, or go to Willie's boat fixing shop. You're like, okay. But then the next turn will be like, you forgot your lunch. Miss a turn. It's like, really? Apparently I'm not going to miss a turn when I wreck my boat, but if I miss my lunch, you better believe I'm missing a freaking turn. I can't go fishing without my lunch. That's preposterous. This game, Fishing Time, uh, is not a good game. I picked it up at a garage sale for 10 cents, and I really wish I would have haggled with them. Not a good game. Fishing time from Distinctive Games Inc. Unless you are an absolute completionist or you just want some cool boat pawns, steer clear of this game. If you enjoyed this review, please be sure to subscribe to my channel. Thanks for your time, YouTube. That was a review for Fishing Time. For more reviews, check back at Bowers Game Corner. Also, be sure to check out BoardGameExchange.com, the nationwide board game rental service.